Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. It's a beautiful day here in Alabama. We've had some cool nights in the 60s, well, low 50s, um, night before last, but it's just a beautiful day, and I didn't want to uh, stay in the kitchen all day cooking, so I'm going to share a recipe with you that I hope you'll like. It's a crock pot soup and um, y'all I don't have a liner I didn't have one when I did my red beans and rice and I haven't been back to the store to get some but they save so much time and clean up but anyway Harold loves lasagna when we go out to eat at an Italian place he always gets lasagna and this is a crock pot lasagna soup and you start with a pound of lean beef, and I've already browned it and didn't even have to uh, drain it. So I'm going to put it in my crock pot. And to that, I'm going to add four cups of chicken broth, and one box is four cups. So that's one box. And then we're going to add 24 ounce jar of marinara sauce. You can use the brand of your choice. I just got ragu. Then you're going to put a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, if you don't have kosher salt, it'll be okay just to use regular salt. But since I had it and that's what the recipe says, I'm going to use it. It's, you know, um, it's coarse. The grains are. So, one teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So... half a teaspoon All right. I'm just going to kind of mix that together before I add the other ingredients now I'm going to add a teaspoon of no two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons. One, two, all right, and then two cloves of minced garlic and I have this that is already minced and it says a half a teaspoon equals one clove so that means that a teaspoon is going to be two cloves. I put, I, I put a heaping teaspoon. Alright. One small onion chopped. I've got my chicken broth, my ground beef, my salt, pepper, marinara sauce, onion, garlic, Italian seasoning, and a cup of the shredded Parmesan cheese. That is, it's optional. If you want it, add it. And I'm going to add it and... You know, it doesn't have to be exact, but I think, okay. Okay. Add that, 
And the very last thing, and this is what I like, you don't have to cook your lasagna noodles. It says eight ounces. This is a 16 ounce box. So a half a box would be eight, but it tells you eight to 10 sheets. All right, so I'm gonna get out eight, and then we're gonna break these into bite-sized pieces. You know, the hardest thing to me when I make homemade lasagna, I don't like having to cook the noodles, and I know now they have some that you don't have to. You can put them in the dish dry. But this is easy, as you can see. Let's see if I can... This. Y'all, yesterday... Carol helped me do a little, uh, I'm experimenting. I'm trying to do a, it's called a no-till garden. And you start off putting down cardboard. And the past few times that I've been out, I'll ask, do you have any cardboard boxes? And most of the time, everyone does. So we bought some dirt and other things that you needed. And uh, it's just a little small fall garden right now, but we're going to add to it as we get cardboard boxes. And uh, yesterday, we planted six collard plants and six cabbage plants and some turnip greens. And I'll let you see that when the turnip greens start coming up, but I'm excited to have that. But y'all, you can either cook this on low seven to eight hours or high uh, three to four hours. But that's all you're going to do. And we're going to come back when this is ready. And you're going to see how good this is or how good it looks to you. And uh, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, welcome back. This has cooked, um, well, I put it on high because I wanted it sooner than I would have had it on if I'd cooked it on low. So it has cooked for four hours on high. And my kitchen smells delicious. Um, it is already, I mean, just, it, it's just like lasagna that you would have, except it's soup. And y'all saw how easy it was. So I'm going to put some in a bowl. And that is your lasagna crock pot soup. So, so easy, and I hope that you'll try it because I think that you're going to find that these dishes that you can uh, put in your crock pot are going to save you time, Scan, I'll feed you in just a minute. But anyway, I think I've told y'all, when I open um, up a crock pot or start cooking, he knows it's time for him to eat, so he'll go over and he'll rattle his bowl. But he knows that I'm going to feed him. But anyway, I want to read a scripture to you before I leave today. It's from Romans 12, 1 and 2, and it was in my devotion this morning. It says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he finds acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. You know, we can't act like the world acts. I mean, things are going on today that 20 years ago, ago you would have never even imagined. But 
this scripture says don't don't think like the world you your body can be a living sacrifice to God so that's why I urge you to be salt and light wherever you go Jesus loves you and he wants you to conform to his way so you'll have a good life thank you for joining me please share my page and comment and I'll be back soon.